This painting is made entirely out of bubble wrap. Those small pockets of air you puncture with your thumbs. To hear that satisfying. One of the funniest things is people love to do this and pop bubbles. And it is the one sound that drives me nuts. Well, because bubble wrap is precious to me. This is Bradley Hart. It's true. Bubble wrap is precious to him. It's literally his canvas. He's a New York-based artist who transforms bubble wrap into pixelated masterworks of art. But the idea of using bubble wrap as a wall covering isn't new. Bubble wrap was invented in 1957, originally intended to be used as wallpaper, but it didn't catch on. It was after researching the, actually the history of bubble wrap and realizing that it was meant to be wallpaper um, that brought me around to this great idea that, well, ostensibly, what is a painting short of the cultural significance and historical value it may gain over time? It's ostensibly a wall covering. So this is a work in progress right now that I'm doing for Art Miami. It's Seraz Le Grand Chat. It's a little vignette scene from the actual bigger painting. The painstaking process starts even before Bradley touches the canvas. So it takes me roughly about four to five days to preload the 1800 to 2500 syringes that I need per painting. This is his palette. Color placement is planned using a top secret custom made computer algorithm. Each bubble is injected individually with acrylic paint. As the paint is injected into a bubble, the access drips down the back of the piece. The process creates two different paintings, the injection painting and the impression painting. The impression painting is created from the paint that drips from the bubbles down the back of the piece. The drippings are surgically removed from the backside of the plastic to reveal an impression of the work. It takes anywhere from three weeks to a month for Bradley to complete a painting. It's just like this kind of quintessential dumb material that I love to use so much. 